Evening, folks. How's it going out there? Welcome back here to a Saturday night, 8.37 p.m. That's West Coast time here in California. August 30th, 2025, last day of August tomorrow. Uh, latest activity here shows a 2.6 uh, there in the red flag somewhere. Looks like around the Indonesia area. Also a 1.3 up into Alaska. It just disappeared. All right, so it'll be a 1.4 down here across the... Uh, Oh, just off the plate boundary, it looks like there around the Baja California region. I'm uh, going to start off here in Nevada first because this is a, definitely an interesting swarm of activity here earlier uh, out in the desert outside of Winnemucca to the northeast and outside of Elko to the northwest, due north here of the Battle Mountain area. Now, looking at this region here uh on the satellite does look like there's some type of geothermal activity out here there's a lot of greenery right that's a little odd to see that much greenery out here in the desert unless there's some type of springs or geyser activity there's an area called hot lake down here as well um and i heard from quite a few of you folks out there on comments and also emails that there's gold mines out here and all sorts of mining taking place um, in this area I pulled it up here on Google Earth as well. That way we can get a little better visual of it. Uh, this is the area of interest. The earthquake activity occurring down south here towards the southern end. There's the Hot Lake area. Um, this here almost looks and reminds me of like sulfur deposits. Although it may be something else since this is a uh, heavily mined region. Um, but this is what you see around the... Um, Mountain Lassen area, kind of a yellowish, or any, any volcano for that matter, that has the uh, sulfur deposits. Uh, it just it reminds me of it. Um, and then, of course, there's, I don't know what these areas are here. They almost look like channels or canals somehow, maybe uh, moving the water to certain mines. I don't know the whole mining process out here, but it is in a geothermal field, so volcanic activity not recent probably some ancient volcano activity uh this kind of looks like a volcanic dome or some kind of a, a mound there and then of course up here this looks like another mining outfit of some sort um a few, like i said a few folks there mentioned on the uh comments and also emails that there's a, a lot of mining down here but you know that's not going to cause a big amount of earthquake activity like we're seeing today um this has been an off and on thing here over the last couple days with the largest event today being a 4.8 followed up by a 4.0 now originally this came in as a like a 3.3 in utah so if you guys were watching my live stream earlier with the update it was towards the end of the update video so for those of you wondering why i didn't talk about the earthquake in nevada at the beginning of the video is because i was it happened at the end of the video <laughs> so i couldn't stop it and redo it that's just not how it works. But I did include it there in the little description that uh, the 5.3 came in towards the end of the update video, just FYI. So that was on my previous video. They downgraded that to a 4.8, um, originally a 5.3, and then a 4.5. So that's what the USGS is reporting out here. Either way, this is a, you know some decent activity historically out here, specifically in this region. Uh, that would, uh, the 4.8 would uh be the largest earthquake historically in this area you know, outside of this zone obviously they can get bigger up north um and all over nevada but uh yeah there was that 5.9 outside of wells nevada there back in 2008 pretty decent earthquake but i'm just looking specifically around this area because i'm interested in it i think uh you know, if this dies off, then it's probably not that big of a deal. But we're still seeing earthquake activity. There's another event showing up right there. So I did add a, a seismograph station there around the Elko, Nevada area that is picking up earthquake activity. Uh, so let's go see real quick what we got. It almost looks like they've stopped reporting the earthquakes here. 2.7 was the last reported earthquake um, just around 7.30 or so. So that's an hour ago. Uh, we do have... Another earthquake coming in right there around the Elko area. Flatline that seismograph station. So uh, from the distance from Elko to the area here uh, where the swarm is, is, what do we got? 20, 40, 50 miles or so. So it's picking up an earthquake of that magnitude. Uncertain, though, on the magnitude at a distance, though. So that's a legit earthquake. We're going to have to watch to see uh, 
see if they've turned off the reporting out here as far as the earthquake activity goes. But it does look like they only have 2.5 and above being reported for this area. Why? I don't know. Because what if there's hundreds of twos going on? You know, this could, could very possibly be some type of, you know, bigger event. There's a lot of older volcanic activity out here. I don't know if this is turning into something new, but obviously if there's geysers or uh, um, other geothermal stuff out here, then that means that there's some heated areas below. So you don't want to see something like this around that type of area that really hasn't had any uh, you know, movement here recently. Again, to look at the historical data here, there's that 4.8 today. I want to see when the last somewhat sizable event was there. There's today, today, a lot of earthquakes there from today and some from yesterday. Back prior to that, looks like a couple twos there throughout August and July. Not that big of a deal. Some earlier in the year, quite a few threes out there, but nothing above two point, nothing below 2.5. So this just proves that uh, they're not reporting anything below 2.5 out here. Um, mining explosion back in 2021 produced a 2.5. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of the biggest event. Um, there was one back in March, a four-pointer. So but definitely something brewing out here. You know, whether it's going to lead to something of volcanic nature or uh, maybe a larger event. But there's not a lot of historical, but there's not a whole lot of faults out here specifically in this area. You know, if it happened along the southeastern, uh, what's this one? Sheep Creek Range Fault, you know, at the crest of the mountains or at the uh, base of the mountain range there, then obviously that's some type of fault system here. But there's not a whole lot specifically in this area, so it's got to be geothermal, meaning that, uh, you know, who knows what kind of explosion and whatnot we could see from this uh, should that uh, develop. The magnitudes of these earthquakes or the uh, depth of these earthquakes are roughly two to five miles or so underneath this area, the 4.8 being five miles. Uh, the earthquake a couple minutes later, shallower at 2.6. So something is brewing underneath the Nevada desert out here. Um, if I wasn't super swamped this weekend, I would be taking a ride out here. I don't mind a little trip through the uh, 80 out here and up north. I'm sure there's some back roads out here I could take to this area. Uh, interesting, though nonetheless uh, but i do appreciate the comments there i didn't get a chance to read every single one there or respond to them all but i do pre do appreciate the input uh, so we'll continue to watch that you know just today alone we've got uh, 17 earthquakes the largest being a 4.8 and it's not like we've had a 5.0 and all of these are aftershocks these could be very well four shocks to something who knows what bigger oregon uh, washington area up here got a couple smaller quakes um Nothing big, nothing going on across Mount Rainier, but I do want to double check that. So stand by here. We'll pull up the Cascadia trimmer map out here real quick. By the way, uh, it's showing 122 epicenters of trimmer scattered about here and there. A little bit at the southern end and a little bit at the extreme northern end of the Cascadia. That's not volcanic activity, but slow slip events going on there. 122 of them. Uh, Mount Rainier Seismograph Station. We'll go check this out real quick, see if there's anything stirring up. Uh, not a whole lot of earthquake activity. Some of those may be ice quakes. You know, I'll give them that. Uh, there's definitely a, a localized event. There may be a couple localized events there. Nothing big going on there across Mount Rainier as far as any uptick goes. You know, compare, you compare this, uh, all these little spikes and whatnot, to the brunt of the swarm last month when it stirred up. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a different picture, right? A lot more. But, you know, we're seeing a couple of those even in the last couple days and nothing getting reported out there across the uh, area. Again, it's a weekend, though, so we probably won't see anything being reported for the volcanoes or Northern California over here uh, until Tuesday. Nothing showing up. Hard to believe that there hasn't been a quake out there across the uh, Northern California region. I... I I don't like that. A little bit more transparency. The weekends, right? People say earthquakes don't take weekends off, right? They happen on the weekends. So why, why are the uh, preliminary data systems out here being suppressed when it comes to some of the smaller quakes out here? I, I would open it up. You know, if, right now, I think they just have it set out here across the area of 2.5 and above. Same for Yellowstone. We're not going to see anything showing up out here until Tuesday morning. Uh, on that note, let's double check Yellowstone, see what we have going on there. 
uh, real quick. Seismograph station here. I'm sure we're going to see that. Oh, look at that. Look at that beauty. That is the 4.8, originally a 5.3, showing up. This is the Nevada earthquake showing up there in northwestern Wyoming, Yellowstone National Park. The four-pointer is hidden in the shadow of the bigger quake. It makes made a lot of noise out here. Uh, a couple other quakes here, I believe. Those, well, let's see. Those, some of these actually may be some of the events there in Nevada showing up. Uh, local events are going to look something like that. When was that? 9 to 9.30 or so. Uh, do we have activity around 9.30 or so? No, it was absent of earthquake activity there from 7 till, f till the uh, noon quake. So either of these are local or bigger events somewhere in the area. Uh, but there's been a handful of local events there across Yellowstone. Nothing big. Uh, you'd definitely be able to tell, but also nothing being reported until Tuesday morning, unless it's above a 2.5 level. All right, California, a couple earthquakes out here on the Bay Area. Hayward Fault, uh, a little bit of activity up north here uh, from yesterday and uh, this morning. Nothing big, just a couple of small microquakes there. I wish they included microquakes like this, like they do in certain areas of California for Northern California, Oregon, and Yellowstone. But I, I don't know why there's a split difference uh, into the reporting out here. It's just a little odd. you think it'd be equal, right? Uh, the latest quake here, 1.5 near Ridgemark, just off the San Andreas Fault. Looks like it's on that uh, branch there of the Calaveras Fault Zone. Also another earthquake here on the, uh, pretty close to the park field section, uh, but right at the southern end of the creeping section, it looks like a 1.8 uh, earlier this afternoon as well. Uh, not a whole lot going on there through uh, California, Southern California, even though all the magnitudes are being reported out here. That, that's for sure, they are. Look at these little 0.8s, you know, and 0.7s, all the quakes, even the 0.3. Uh, I do like that. But nothing big going on there uh, for now. Oil fields of Texas still rocking and rolling. Uh, new Madrid seismic no zone, nothing showing up unless it's going to be above 2.5. We probably won't see any earthquakes out here across the eastern portion of the country show up until Tuesday morning unless it's above 2.5. That's just how they do it for whatever reason. Uh, Puerto Rico Trench up here looking pretty active with a number of threes and twos. The latest, a 2.7 here uh, near the uh, San Lorenzo, Puerto Rico area. Let's take a look at the world view, see what we got going on out here. That's sticking out like a sore thumb for sure in Nevada. Uh, let's see, the Curl Camp Chatka Trench, a couple fours up there around that region where the 8.8 .8 struck here last July. Uh, as far as newer activity goes, still got a little cluster going on here, roughly around the Sumatra area southward, southeastward here along the Java Trench. Pretty good cluster going on there. We can still see some big earthquake activity out there in that crunch zone. Uh, some newer activity uh, around the Vanuatu area. Pretty good cluster going on north there. New Zealand, some older movement uh, throughout the day. There's that 4.9. Nothing new to report there, but that is uh, fairly well primed for some big earthquake activity. Got some movement off the coast here of the Costa Rica area, it looks like. Or off the coast there of Panama. Um, it's on a fracture boundary out here for a 4.5. Uh, some of these may be spreading seafloor center as well. Notice the ridges out here. A lot of times when we see movement out here at the southern end of the, uh, this is the Cocos Plate and the Nazca Plate here, when we see that activity here, it normally can stir things up out here in the region of the subduction zones. You got the Ecuador Trench and up north the Middle American Trench, but right now those areas uh, yeah, look normal up north, not a whole lot going down south here. Uh, some minor activity there into the Peru Chile Trench in the uh, Chile area, but for that, uh, not a whole lot going on down south. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet aside from some older movement. Five-pointer down there. Not a whole lot going on across the uh, Mediterranean for now. Some older quick activity on the globe. Oh, 2.6 popping up there, it looks like. Uh, space weather activity. Let me tell you, we got uh, an interesting flare that popped off earlier today. A long-duration M flare that did produce a CME. And that came off of the Earth-directed sunspot here. Number, uh, uh, let's see, which one was that? N 
M2.7 near 41.99. Oh wow, so it did pop off of that one. I really wasn't expecting anything from that area. 41.99. What's going on here? Barely anything in terms of complexity out here. That's crazy. I thought that Imfler would be coming from one of these areas down south, but looks like maybe this one has still has a little bit of uh, activity around it. Either way, it did produce a Earth-directed CME. Um, there it is outlined here. Kevin's got it outlined in the uh, chronograph imagery. But uh, also we can go over here to the Space Weather Prediction Center and check that out as well. Uh, let's see where that's at right here. Well, it doesn't look like they've updated the... Uh, Let's see here. Let me put this into motion. Actually, it looks like maybe they did. No, I don't see it on there. At least not yet. Negative. So this is just normal, typical solar wind stream out there. Uh, so it doesn't in include the CME that was kicked off. Otherwise, this would show a... Uh, explosion from the Sun here or directed uh, but it hasn't accounted for that yet so we'll definitely check back on that uh, probably tomorrow maybe see if they got that updated so right now flare threat 65% chance there for M flare 20% elevated chance for X flare activity I do think we still have some potential there from the uh, southern portion there of the uh, earth directed sunspots massive areas look at that uh, but here's the one that produced that long duration M flare. A couple newer spots out there on the northeastern side of the sun as well. Um, this one's fairly complex. A couple different groups out there. This is looking more, you know, like solar maximum out here. Eventually, this is going to go down to pretty much nothing here uh, in a couple years. But we'll see. Either way, I do think we still have some activity to uh, watch out for as far as flaring goes. Uh, so we'll check back on that tomorrow, see what the aurora forecast looks like. Um, let's see here. I think that's about it for tonight, folks. Um, it's just about 9 o'clock. I'm just going to call it early. I know 9 o'clock bedtime on a Saturday night. That sounds perfect to me. Uh, not a whole lot going on on seismograph stations for now, but earthquakes that are happening there in Nevada are going to show up on the Elko station. And again, they're not going to show up unless they're above 2.5. Remember that quake I just showed you guys at the beginning of this update? nothing zip zero so it's probably under the 2.5 threshold um, but there's still earthquake activity occurring out there even though it's not showing up here on the map all right have yourself a good one folks we will see you guys back out here for the sunday right sunday um yeah sunday morning update all right have a good one